uh, this is my first tutorial so yeah um, in this one I'm gonna show you guys how to make a gated trans pad you know, it's like something that gated I guess um, if you're wondering what I'm trying to make or what I'm talking about so I'm just gonna show you guys this is off a tune from camo and crook cross the line uh, I've been wanting to emulate the sound I was looking for some tutorial on YouTube on how to do this on massive but couldn't find any so I finally figured it out and I decided I'm just gonna make one so this is the sound that I want to do um, okay yeah so that's the sound that I want to make uh this if you listen to it uh, it has that obvious gated sound and then at the same time it's uh it start out really plucky and short and then it just gets longer and longer even until it turns into like a whole pad so yeah uh, i'm just gonna show you guys how to make this sound but i mean i'm not gonna try to replicate that sound exactly but no, i'm just gonna show you guys like the basic principle on how to achieve this kind of sound I mean uh, so yeah so let's just get started um, let's go with massive create a new sound okay first thing you want to do is okay and envelope 4 why I go with envelope 4 is because envelope 4 is automatically routed to amp so this controls the volume of your sound you know so in here usually when you go with a new sound it's this way but on mine I just set it up so when it starts all the way up already because we're making a pad so we want it to be consistent sound all the way you know when you press the key you just have that same volume consistently so yeah uh, okay and then the next thing we do is we go to the oscillator uh, we're gonna be using three oscillator uh, for this particular one, I'm just gonna go with saw, so it's definitely not gonna be the same as camera and curve, but okay, so this is what we have if we just have one saw oscillator on. Oh, sorry, it's gonna be like this. Yeah, it's pretty boring right now, so let's turn on all this oscillator. And then let's bring this down. Okay, let's just hear it if we have all three. It's just louder, that's all it does. Uh, because you have now you have three uh, sound source playing together. So let's bring the top one down by one octave. And then let's detune this too. Uh, we're detuning it so we can make it sounds wider. So let's just go with eight maybe yeah eight i mean you can you can put in any number between point one point zero one to point zero nine i mean like if you go more than that and then it just start affecting the pitch it just sounds different so let's go with the uh, eight and then let's hear it nice and white but yeah that's just a basic thing so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to voicing um, we have 16 voice max right now and we want to make it more sound because we want it to be bigger so let's go to unisono uh, let's move it to four. Oh, four, yeah so basically the whole idea of unisono is like if you go with four that means you have 16 playing with one if it's four you multiply it with that with four and now you have 64 so um, you can go more with like eight or even 16 but and then it's just gonna hit your CPU really hard you know so 
you know, unless you have really, really super computer, then your computer will be struggling to run this. So let's just go with four for now. And then the next thing we want to do is you, you want to go to the spread. You see what it does is actually uh, with the pitch cutoff is actually detuning it even more. So let's do that. Let's just go a little bit. Now we go with like, just leave it like three tick there, three lines. And let's see how it sounds. Nice and nice white, but it's way loud now. So let's turn it down. Yeah, about there, so it's not on the red. It's white now, but it's not white enough because we want to do pad, so we want it to be even whiter. So let's go with the pen position. Let's turn it on. And then let's go here. Let's spread it all the way to not all the way to the right. Let's just go maybe halfway from the middle. See how that sounds. There we go. Nice and big. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to make it sounds plug because right now it's just straight like that, right? So we want to make it sound plug. In order to make it sound plug, basically what we want to do is we want we want it to have a really really fast attack and then as soon as you hit the key it just the sound just goes on and then it just goes down right away that's why it sounds like a plot instrument so in order for you to do that you have to turn down this level all the way so now and then the decay this is another important thing when you want to go with the plug sound is because this is controlling how long that sound will go on before it goes down again it's the volume so we'll go with about right here let's try it see how that is. oh nothing because we're not assigning we are not assigning it to any filter yet because this envelope will be used to control the filter so let's stick with the def you can actually use the low pass too because Def and low pass is basically very similar. Def is just that def is uh, modeled after some hardware. Um, I don't really know what hardware, but it just sounds a little bit nicer. It has this certain character that's better than your standard low pass. I mean, you know, I mean, you can use the low pass because the low pass is basically every synthesizer have that. So, but the def have a little bit more character to it, so that's why I'll use that. So. Let's go, let's assign this to the cutoff. Let's put it all the way there, maybe. Let's see how that sounds. See? Now you have that nice plug sound. And then now the next thing is we want to do is we want to get that gate sound. So the gate on that Camon Crook is really, really sharp. So we cannot use a sine wave to modulate the filter because you know the sine wave is smooth. We want a sharp cut, so let's go with the this saw, and then let's assign this next to the envelope that you know, we put just in the filter, and we bring it all the way up again. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, we already start getting that gated sound, but at this moment it's too slow, so let's bring it up. That camera and crook, I think it's on 1 8. So let's see. Yep, exactly, 1 8. So we already got the gated sound, we already got the plot sound. Like I say, I'm not trying to emulate the exact one, so the whole idea is just like an exercise on how to get this done. You can play with the resonance and just change the sounds. And so. Make it more acidic, I guess. But yeah, let's just keep the resonance all the way down. And then what's the next thing we want to do? Oh yeah, we still want to make this even bigger. So let's go with the little, add a little bit more chorus. It's a little bit too much. And then let's see 
let's add some dimension expander to make it even bigger let's see dimension expander is essentially like reverb but I don't know it just sounds nice with this so big difference right let's just turn it down a bit because it's a little bit too big Without it, nice. Okay, so we already got this down. Now, the next thing we want to do is how to make it so it's running, you know, from gated and it's transition into just a long, long path. So, uh, what we have to do is now we have to go into the macro control. Essentially, the macro control is. Uh, you're assigning uh, any any of this knob into the macro control. So when you turn the one knob, the macro control on your MIDI controller, or even even with mouse in here, you essentially when you turn this, it actually turn all this knob to that you assign to. So let's go with the amp because uh, the amp is what's responsible for the the amp in the LF ball. I mean. This is what's responsible for the gated sound. So, you see that? see that's the when you do that, it still have that pluck sound to it. So, if you want me, maybe if you want to do the camera and crook one. Maybe. have that quality to it but we want it to be so yeah let's assign this all the way down so essentially when we turn this up this goes down that's basically what it's telling that amp button so yeah but it still have that plucky sound right we want to get rid of that as it goes longer so what we do is we assign this DK to this the macro one to DK and then you want to make it longer so you want it to be so when we turn the knob it goes open all the way up so let's do that I forgot about this noise. Uh, I usually go with the bright noise. Maybe coloring is about right here. Because it just have that nice, bright, high frequency thing. And then we go a little tiny bit because we just want a hint of it, not, not a whole lot. That's all the way out. So once we have that, uh, we can EQ it because I think it's a little too bright. There you go. So that's basically it. You already get that on Massive. Uh, next thing you can do that I like to do is assign this to the Dimension Expander too. Same principle, it just goes wider, bigger in size. And then I like to send it to the dry wet too, but not too much because then it's just too much. <laughs> so 
so yeah so that's basically it guys that's all you need to do uh, it's done on massive as well you can bounce it or just process it more with with more compressor and all that good stuff and more filter maybe on top of that so but yeah that's pretty much it experiment with it guys uh, if you want to get that camo and crook sound i don't really know what wavetable they use on the oscillator but you know with the saw that's basically the whole idea of it you can mess around with different wave and you'll get a completely different sound but hopefully by watching this it'll help you guys uh, get you started with the sound and then you guys can just mess around experiment because that's the whole fun of it you know and you know I'm looking forward to do more tutorial and once again thanks for watching see you guys